We've talked plenty of food. We've talked plenty of movies and TV shows. <laughs> and so now, oh, I need this. Now we are back with more movie and TV show talk. So today, well, actually, last week, I told, well, what? Like what three of us. Well, we were, no. We were what, talking about unpopular opinions. What opinion. segment? Unpopular opinions, yes. And I said, hey, speaking of that, where's Jerry today? Oh, Jerry's at home. home, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Again. Hey, Mr. Long. You guys recording today? Yep. Yeah. Recording right, right now. The moderator? Um, he's in the sideline crew, kind of. I'm chiming in when I feel needed. <laughs> okay, so anyway, what we are going to do is, I said it um, during the Unpopular Opinions where we have a surprise, and I really think it's going to be a good segment. Here's that surprise. We're going to give you our top five, I don't know, we have a lot of us in here, Sideline Crew, we got Parker, Nate, and Molly, and then Carson might chime in, um, and then Dylan, Brad, myself, who's this? Caden, Tayson, oh. and Preston, we're all going to share our top five, so this might take a little while, and that's why this intro is so long, <laughs> sorry. And so, Preston right now is shaking his head because he knows that he's going to edit most of this and he's already frustrated about it. So, anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into our top five, starting with your number five. I don't want you guys to look at mine. Oh, shoot. Mine upside down. This is all a surprise. We did not listen to anybody's. Honorable mention. One honorable if you got an honorable mention, you can throw that out first. I have two. You guys want to do movies first since it seems like yeah. everybody was able to come up with movies before shows yeah. and yeah. series? Okay. So, we're going to go. Honorable mentions first. I have two in my honorable mention that did not make my top five, but were close. Nice, Sam. And you guys probably don't know. Well, I know you know one of them. Um, one of them is Waiting. Anybody ever seen Waiting? No. Oh, man, it's a good movie. Ryan Reynolds, it's like one of his first movies. They're in, like, shenanigans or something like that, and he's like a waiter. Gotta see it, it's good. Okay, my other one is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. No. Never seen it? I've heard of it. Never heard of it. Ever. What's the Ryan Reynolds one where he's like a fat kid in high school, then he comes um, back a few years later and he's rich? Oh. Yeah, and then... Um, I can't think of the name. Ooh, he got friend zone, and then he get friend zoned yeah. by the girl. Is it, is it friends? Yeah. Friends? Something about friends. Yeah. It's on Netflix, I think. That's a good one, though. But yeah, yeah. Ryan Reynolds is good. But yeah, I, <laughs> the way I put together my top five is I tried not to double up on actors. Oh, no, I did And so oh, I did not go, like, heavy. Like, Will Ferrell is one of my favorite actors. I didn't go heavy Will Ferrell. Um, I put so, one Will Ferrell if you, in. If it's your favorite movie, you got to put it on. I know, but I did mine differently because I, I, my top five list has 22 movies in it. They're going to have to cut it. So I did it a little differently. So. Uh, anybody, anybody else have honorable mentions for movies? Billy Mills, I... Grown ups. Tayson, what do you got? You go. I have uh, The Interview. There's so many. Um, That's a good oh, one. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I, I just, there's <laughs> nothing else to say about it, I guess. I, I mean, I don't, That's a good one. I don't know if I really want to talk about it. <laughs> well, it was good because especially when it came out, it was when all the rift between North Korea and everything was going on with the United States, and they released the movie, which was crazy. But, yeah. Another one? Uh, that was the only one I had on my honorable mentions. Um, Molly, you got an honorable mention? Give her yeah. the mic. I have... Ooh, I have... All the Hangovers and Grown Ups too, because that's what? the best Grown Ups. All the Hangovers are in your honorable mention. I like wow, that's what How I was that gonna do. Though? But they didn't make top five. No. No, awesome. I have. No. Yeah. This is, this is like not top five. Guys. We're not naming uh, the top no, five. No, not yet. We're just honorable mentions. You got any uh, more than what? five? Another honorable mention. It I have would an be honorable mention. Series. I don't even have fully five. You go first. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have an honorable yeah. mention? Yes. Okay. What have you seen Zohan with Adam Sandler? That movie's good. Yes. That movie's very good. That's an honorable mention, though. Again, uh, it, very good one. Ace Ventura. Oh, all of them are just no, the first one. one. Nature Calls, too. Mine. Maybe oh, the oh, best no, part no, of no, an go, intro go, go. movie might Let's be. Let's go first. Everybody wants a slinky, slinky. Yeah. Hey, come on, can I do one more? My honorable <laughs> mentions are. You don't even have a top five list. <laughs> the. Maze Runner series and that's not a comedy. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't. Oh my god. Listen. Would you consider Project X a comedy? Oh, 100 percent. Yes. That yeah. that'd be that's an a honorable mention. Then. I think I if think it consistently thriller, makes you laugh, oh, then yeah. yeah. It makes you laugh though. Consistently. Wow. Where are the Miller's not just like a few oh. parts. Yeah, of the yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get to our top fives. We're all gonna yeah. share number five. We're gonna start over the sideline crew. Parker, you're gonna lead us off with your five, and we'll just go around the room. Um, so number five. I never made a list, but if I had to say number five. Oh, <laughs> 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 so I'm prepared. That's why I'm sideline crew. We'll start over here. We'll start over you here. You start over there. I'll Dylan, you want to start us? No, your number five. 
Uh, Movie. Comedy. Number five is Napoleon Dynamite. Who Dark Horse. Never liked the movie. I'm you never have? I don't like it that much. Oh, I think it's man. so funny. First time no, I watched no, it no. was in taste. I feel like my oh, mom man. or my dad and my sister loved the... it. And I was like, I just... My dad It was is funny. The like, there's funny parts in it, but... Oh, like I, love, I don't even think I he could be. He's so, like, it's so stupid. dumb. <laughs> to me, so dumb, the only so part funny. that I thought was funny, I, okay, two parts, was when Uncle Rico tried to throw the football over the mountain, <laughs> and the other part was when he threw that toy out the bus window and he was sitting there holding on to the fishing line. <laughs> but it's oh. just like their faces. I like, faces I liked when he was at when he was at say. the dojo trying to get training from. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. What's his name? Kip or no? Yeah. When Kip was at the dojo. Kip was, yeah, I think it was Kip. Oh, yeah, Kip, Kip, Kip and was at the And he kept hitting him, he goes, yeah. oh, ah, dang it, I was Kip. All right, we're never going to get through these. Okay, yeah, we're not. Okay, number <laughs> five. My number five is Nacho Libre. Oh, oh I forgot about that. that. I, I wouldn't watch that a thousand times. He's so funny. Nacho, Nabarsa, Sway. My so my number five, and this and one of the actors, one, time and I can't yeah. one of the actors yeah, made it on here twice, yeah. Dazed and Confused. No. I don't know what that is. What's it about? Um, it's about like back in like that, again. It's it's a comedy. It's considered it's a, a comedy, but it's it's hilarious. Yeah. And it's like back in 1976. The music's good on it. And Matthew McConaughey. That's where Matthew McConaughey's original "All right, all right, all right" came from. Was from Days and Confused. That one's pretty, good. pretty good movie. Some naughty stuff in there, but pretty good. Caden. My number five is Major League. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't that's even consider one. that one. I didn't Dude. think about that one. I don't think I'd put it in my five, but it's pretty good. That's a good one. That's a good, one. good one. Jason. My uh, number five, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's Vacation to Wally World. So, like, the Christmas Vacation. No, it's the original National Lampoon's Vacation. Yeah, yeah National, National Lampoon's, Lampoon's Vacation. Pretty good, one, yeah. That I went with that one. at number five. Nice. I like that little boy. I I'm went scared. with... Uh, Pineapple Express. <laughs> okay. That was my number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Parker, you got a number five yet? He's literally looking oh, up. Like Nate, Nate, you got a number five? My number five People would be... Three. My, my number five is Jack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that could be cut. That's a movie name. I could say it. Jack yeah, Buck. yeah, Jack yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> let's, uh, let, we'll edit Jack, that. Hey, uh, I, I have a I'll good idea it. for the edit. Shrek! Shrek! <laughs> I'm a donkey, Shrek! <laughs> Name that show. It sounds like Dang, it. I should have put that in my The mind. Office? <laughs> All right, sorry, Molly. <laughs> my number five. number five is The Campaign. You know, with, like, Will Ferrell oh, and... Oh, I never saw it. With who, is it Amy Poehler? It's so good. I think she's in... No. Or no, who's the one he's going against? He's going against. Oh, he's going against Zach Galifianakis. Yes, yeah. yep. Zach he's so. I have a Zach Galifianakis. I have two so Zach funny. Galifianakis in my top. But if you haven't seen that movie, watch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got two Jonah Hills. Jonah okay. Hill's amazing. You got a number five? I just have three. top three. Okay, we'll come Jonah back Hill, to you. When yeah, come back to me when you get to three. That's fine. Okay. Dylan, number four. All right, number four. Happy Gilmore. Ooh, very solid. solid. Very solid, solid answer. I have Happy Gilmore in my top five as well. I was gonna say oh, I just I have a fourth one now. My number Brad. four is Talladega Nights. Oh. Will Ferrell. You can't go wrong with the Will Ferrell one. Okay. So I got you guys with my first one. I don't know if it's the top so far, I, out of my three that I've given, you guys haven't seen any of them. But I'm number four. I know you guys haven't seen Zach Galifianakis, one of his first movies, and the guys from Day, Days and Confused, also in this. Out Cold. Very good movie. Okay, so Snowboarding movie. Billy Madison. Ha, yeah, Adam Sandler. Number four. Yeah. I have Christmas Vacation. <laughs> you're, you're going on vacations to start. Those are the only two. That I like I, how the Hangover series makes your makes your uh, honorable mentions. I got I have six on here. Uh, okay, what was number five for you? Pineapple Express. So that was your honorable mention. What was no, your? Oh, I don't know. Two, you didn't two, label them one, two, three, four, five. I have them all mixed up. Okay, number four, I'll just go with Central Intelligence. What would be your honorable mention, then? Actually, Pick one of those out of there. Like that Central doesn't make your top lines. I thought it was funny. Like, I'll take right Central now. Intelligence oh, so out. Funny. Okay, number First four. Yeah. Number four, the Jump Street movies. 21, 21 and 22? Yeah. Oh, Which yeah. one would you put in your top five? 21. 21. 21, you okay. 21. Very good. Parker, okay. happy Gilmore? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I don't even know. Just go with number four. Yeah. Have have Nate, number four. Four, A Haunted House. Have you seen that one? You know what, the, you know what I'm talking about. No? no? 
A, a haunted house. A haunted house. That's what it's called. It's is, a it like a, is it a spoof movie or what? Yeah, like sure. scary like movie. Like scary, funny. Yeah. Mo- mainly funny. I, I don't know. I'd have to show you a picture and maybe you'd, you'd, maybe remember, you'd remember it. I remembered what but I was going to say. What were you going to say, Parker? I need the mic. Go. Um, my fifth would be Medea's Big Happy Family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, my fourth, later. my fourth is white chicks. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> just because I have to have it. Yeah. Not a top five for me. It's funny though. Dylan, number three. Come here, little guy. Uh, number three is super bad. Oh, oh, I didn't put that in my five. That's in there. Dylan. Shoot, that's good. That's, that's a good one, Dylan. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. That okay, honorable mention. I got another one that at least super <laughs> bad. Good one. My number three was the dictator. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've seen it. Funny, Sasha, what's his name? Sasha, uh, yeah, Barrick and Barrick Owen. Thank you. Uh, my number three was Happy Gilmore. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, up Happy, there. Happy I, t- I chose one Adam Sandler movie, that would be the one I would choose. Hmm. Did we say number three? Number three, okay, that's what we're saying right now. Yeah, my number three was the interview. The interview, that's yeah, a good one, yeah. This is gonna surprise a lot of people, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but SpongeBob number SquarePants, th- number the movie. three is Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Maybe because honest, I can like recall almost everything in that. I like. Movie. I, I agree. I don't I think agree. it's top five. It's, it's not in my top five, but it's oh, worth noting. Yeah. It, it's it's yeah. a it's a viable number f- three for you. Yeah. I just I just like watching that. Movie. I love <laughs> that movie. Okay, but do you like the second one as well? My three. I like the first second one. Better. First one's way better. Number three, three Preston. Super bad. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Did you just change that right now? No. Oh, okay. I had it. Parker, number three. Yeah, Super bad. It. Yeah, yeah. That was my list before. Super bad. <laughs> Nate. <clears throat> bad grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good one. I forgot yeah. about that. Uh, mine is Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite, number three. Yeah, that's overrated. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are down to number two. Dylan. The silver man. Uh, it didn't make the top of your podium. It didn't, but... Most I think it should for me, anyways. But uh, number two is Benchwarmers. Benchwarmers. I knew you were gonna say that. I'm surprised it isn't your number one. I can't wait to hear what your number one is. My number two is Happy Gilmore. Oh yeah, I do. (laughs) Number two, Happy Gilmore. I'm saying it again. My number two is Zach Galifianakis, Bradley Cooper, The Hangover. Ah, that's such a good good movie. My number two is The Other Guys. Ooh, desk pop. Get your desk pop in. Yeah. Good one. My number two. Is super bad. <laughs> That's been a lot of lists super today. Bad. Great movie. <laughs> yeah. My number two is Step Brothers. Yeah, I'm good. I've got Step it's Brothers. Good. I purposely Step Brothers. Step Again? Brothers. Wow. Number two, right? Yep. The King of Staten Island. Never it's seen it. Uh, I've heard it. Nate, That's you have like the weird. You have a, you <laughs> and Mr. Most, Shrink uh, are just tied. Just Mine good. is Hot Rod. Hot Rod. Good one. All right, the number ones of your comedies. That you have to watch every time it's on. Dylan? Uh, the Hangover. The Hangover. Step Brothers. Step Brothers. I'm going with Anchorman. Dumb and Dumber. Oh. You're going with Dumb and Dumber? Easy. I'm going, I'm going with Step Brothers. Hangover. Click. Oh, Adam yeah. Sandler and Click. <laughs> hey, hangover, but Hangover Part 1. Hangover yeah. Part 1. I'm I'm I didn't put the other ones on there. I mean, the other ones are Maybe good, sure. but I, mean, I gotta get them. Mine is Mine is semi-pro. Semi Pro is good. It, I, everybody I, love everybody. The way that I did my list is I made sure I didn't put like a bunch of Adam Sandler, a bunch of Will Ferrell, a bunch of Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen, stuff like that. There so. wasn't much um, oh, Seth Jim Carrey on there. Yeah, Liar Liar. I used yes to be man. in my top five. Yes, man, yes, man, yes, man, yes man, man is a good. good one. Yes Man is good. That is a good one. Liar Liar used to be in my top five um, for the same the reason. Mask as a the mask, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The That's Mask funny. is a comedy. Somebody stop me! Spice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Um, yeah. You said Ace Ventura at least. Yeah, I, did. I think Carson's got his number. Carson, one. you got number one. I'm not gonna do comedy movies. Okay, that's what we're doing today. No, no. My that's top five doing. movies. Carson, we are no. doing comedy Carson. movies. We're gonna get into your rom coms at a different day. I'm more of a sci fi kind of guy. Yeah. Good for you, really? man. <laughs> but I, I do <laughs> like comedy. It has nothing to do with this oh, yeah, segment. But fun. everybody we're said a lot of my. What's your favorite comedy? <laughs> my you favorite one it. comedy. Yes. That's an always a go to. Hmm. Please say Step Brothers. We're the Millers. We're the Millers. That is a solid movie. You know, we're going I'll with go with that one. one. You're number right one, not your solid. You're number we already one. went through five and four and three and two. I'm, I shouldn't have given any. 
We're the Millers. Okay, very nice. All right. That's a solid one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's your top five for movie comedies. We're going to move on to TV shows, sitcoms, funny series, comedy series next, um, which I've come to find out that everybody had a problem getting to five. Yes. Yeah, I easy. think everybody's I was, I was like, at that table is going to have the same number. Of I have five. 100%. I have, yeah, I have, you have <laughs> Brad doesn't have any comedy <laughs> series. I, we'll give you yes. some. How many do you have? You have five? five? How many do you have? I need, I need ideas from other people. Okay, I'm going to start with my number five. All right. Since you don't have five and you don't have any, my number five is Saved by the Bell. Oh, yeah. I watched that. Like That was you know before your DVR and everything. I, like, watched I made sure that I was home. At 3.30 when it came on from school so oh I could gosh. watch Saved by the Bell. Insane. Drake and Josh. Oh, yeah, we so talked about Drake and Josh see, like, before. I didn't think, about I didn't think like anything actually. like that. I told well, you, any series. I know. You I have a ton of names. two. Okay, so we're skipping you. You got a five? I'll go with Simpsons at five. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I have more. I have more. I have more. Oh, I didn't know we were doing animated. I have, I have more now. I have more now. All of a sudden, oh, South Park, Family Guy, Simpsons. We're not doing that. Wait, number five, The Cleveland Show. Oh, okay. We're doing. Family Guy, yeah. Number yeah, five yeah. is Family Guy? Oh, yeah. Family You're family not going to yeah, go higher? Easy. Oh, no. no okay. It can't go any higher than that. What's your number five, bad, Molly? Number six is The Office. What? Negative, negative 100, uh, The know. Office. <laughs> I love and I hate it. And then number five. I would say, oh, I just had it. Um, come back. It looks like your number five is now it. The Office. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, the what do you got, Carson? You have five? Of if you only have one in your head, then we'll just wait till one. I have three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's mine? I'm going to go. Give it back to Molly. Me. Ooh. Big City Greens. Have you ever seen that TV I show? Never have. Uh, it's on like Disney <laughs> Channel <laughs> now. It's <laughs> funny. It's is so it good? funny. I just sit there and I laugh. All right. Oh, I got a five, actually. Like, okay, so my, you have five my total? My five is, yeah, I got five total. Okay. My five is five right probably now. The Simpsons. Okay. Whoa! Oh, bombshell. Yeah. Pointless. Dylan, number four. Uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, I, I have my number yeah. five. Oh. What's your number five? SpongeBob. Okay, number four, SpongeBob. I'd say number four, SpongeBob. You have a list now? I'm just coming up with my goal. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Brad. Way to take hey, everyone else. Will, yeah. Brad, will you say whatever <laughs> Dylan says after he says it? Sure. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Hootie's playing. My I've number four. He's got so You guys know I like this show, The Chappelle Show. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you liked that, actually. My number really? four is South Park. Okay. My number four South Park. is The Simpsons. If I had a number five, it would be South Park. <laughs> okay. My number four, I'd probably have to go with like Drake and Josh. Jeez, oh, you guys are American. missing out on a lot of good ones. I like Comedy Central, so definitely American Dad. Yeah. Okay. Actually, solid. No, this will be number, number, number three. Okay. <clears throat> number four. The Last Man on Earth. Is it good? That's pretty good. It is pretty good. Um, Shit's Creek. Yeah, that's funny. It wouldn't make it my top five. But. Yeah. Carson, you're number four. I know you didn't write these down, so I know you're gonna mess this up every time it comes to you. God, even in the camera. Keep jumbling up in my head. Four and down are all equal, guys. Rick and Morty. That's good. Quit handing him the mic. We have our own mic. Oh. Dylan, number three. Sitcom, series, show. Uh, The Office. Mm. I don't like The Office, so I'm going to say South Park. Okay. My number three is That 70s Show. Oh! Nah, not South Park. Oh, absolutely. It was number almost number two for me. I don't like it me. anymore because people tell me I look like Donna. Because what? Because people tell me I look like Donna. Oh. I don't Seinfeld? Seinfeld? Oh, I didn't put Seinfeld, Seinfeld. in my top five. You didn't? I'm going to put Seinfeld at number Seinfeld. five. Saved by the Bell Seinfeld out. Seinfeld is better than The Office. I agree. Yep. No, it's not. Yes, you it just is. agree. You just, you just I'm No, I went to bump him before he said that. I wasn't going to take it away after that. I'm still you bumping him for bringing that back to my list. Thank you. And no thank you with the office. <laughs> number comment. three and number two are basically a tie, but if I had to give it to one. Yeah, you have to, to because this yeah, isn't yeah. one, yeah, three, if three. Had, if I had to give it to like one, like I have to. Yeah. I'd have to go three at South Park because the whole series isn't as good. Like the first yeah. couple seasons. Okay. So number two is gonna take. Oh, the oh yeah. Well, yeah. Two, I'm not, I'm ah, two, breaks. Yeah. All right. Number three in Practical Jokers. Oh, oh. That's a sitcom? comedy sitcom series. I'd give it oh, that. Yeah. Man, I don't know. That's a really Shoot. good one. Hey, I gotta relook oh, at my yeah, list here. Yeah. That's so <laughs> you. You've been saying the Practical is the best show ever for it like is. the past three weeks. It really is. <laughs> so 
I mean, it's better than The Office. It's better than The Office. Your number two is gone now. Have you seen The Goldbergs? I've, yeah, I've seen yeah. parts I'm bumping of it. my whole uh, That's my number is three. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. Number three, uh, that 70s show. That's also. Yeah, boy. Seinfeld. Top Seinfeld. Top three. Number three is The Middle. Okay, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Dylan, number two. Man, this whole Seinfeld thing just and just threw me for a loop. So, so and Impractical this... Joker. Sorry, go ahead. Brickle, number two. Brickleberry. Ooh. I didn't ask you your favorite kind of ice cream. I asked for your sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> <Big mom? laughs> What's Brickleberry? Oh, <laughs> it's, about... it's actually funny. Is, is this two. something you shouldn't explain? Um, it's a, it's a, yeah, all you, right. you didn't give Brad any ideas. Though. Pass. Number two, Brad. Brad did I'll look it up, Barry. I thought you were going to say Rocky Road. What about? I'm going to go my number I'm two. Looking. Underrated comedy. How I Met Your Mother. Mm. I love it. Good show. Go ahead. Big Bang Theory. Oh, oh, man. Dang it. Oh, we're bumping them all remember. down. Oh. My whole like list is bumping down. The entire <laughs> intro. <laughs> Our whole universe is in uh, uh, My whole list is bumping down know, to like but. number five Simpsons. Is that honorable oh, mention? It's like honorable mention now? Yeah. So number two is The Office. Okay. Okay. Number two, Family Guy. I'm um, still, I'm um, Practical Jokers, 100%. Two. I'm going to go with uh, Two and a Half Men. Oh, gosh. That would Friends, be because I'm the only girl. Family Guy. Yeah. Family Guy was supposed to be number two, but now that... My list got bumped down. It's like yeah. three now. Yeah, I know. I'm. Gotta make some cuts. All right, number one. My number one would still be number one. I don't know how many of you guys have seen it, but Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, I ne never got into it. Do you ever? I tried. Did you get to I Bubbles? Tried. Did you ever get to see Bubbles? <laughs> no. I just, it wasn't my bag, baby. <laughs> Skip to you see bag, Bubbles baby. in there. Bubbles, yeah, bubbles makes the whole yeah. show pretty much. Don't they change the whole show into a cartoon? Yeah, and the cartoon's terrible. Space? The cartoon's terrible. After I, they go to space, right? I, I, I've been telling myself, like, it, it's been on my list for Netflix for a long time. Exactly. Yes. I keep so many things on my list. And I'm like, ah, oh, just, uh, instead of doing that, I went back and now I'm rewatching How I Met Your Mother again, so I just can't dive into it. Go ahead, number two, number one! Uh, I'll just say Family Guy. Uh, the Office. Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Number one even... is Impractical Jokers. It is taking over The Office. I had one, but I can't remember it. Oh. You already know. The oh. Office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta think. Oh, you made your whole list. I and... had one, and then I just <laughs> forgot it. I'm gonna go with uh, Shameless. Just cause oh! I was gonna add that to my oh, list, man. but then I was like, is it really a comedy? Because it's more drama towards I mean, the end. Yeah, Good comedies have, yeah. have storylines and drama. You're right, you're right. Maybe All right, my number one is Parks and Rec. Drake and Josh. Yeah, <laughs> my number one is Blue Mountain State. Oh, oh we forgot. Yeah. Blue you Mountain brought State. that up earlier. 100%. Yeah, okay, after going through this, I'm going to remake yeah. my top five. Yep. I am definitely going to go The Office, How I Met Your Mother, That 70s Show, which were my top three originally, yeah. Seinfeld, Shameless, Chappelle Show, and Saved by the Bell. And I'm, I don't mention they didn't. No, I'm practical joke. I'm changing my number one too. The Office. <laughs> <laughs> I met your mother. That '70s Show. <laughs> Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yeah. Impractical, Impractical Joker. Shameless is off the list now too. Uh, uh, since since you remade your list, can we all? Yeah, go ahead. Name your top five. Go ahead. You wanna re remake your list? Well, I only have four, so I can do this easy. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, I'll go. I'll go. Uh, number five, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Then The Office, Brickleberry, Trailer Park Boys, and then Blue Mountain State. Yeah, it's that bad when your number one is the one that wasn't wow. on your list. I forgot about it. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. You got a new, you got a new top five? Happened yes. for Tayson, too. Let's go with Tayson. Number one, Impractical Jokers. <laughs> number two, Office. Three, number three, Blue, Blue Mountain, Mountain State. State. Number four... Family Guy, number five, South Park. <laughs> That's a solid list. That's a solid list, yeah. I, I can't do, like, I watched a bunch of South, South Park. I did, no. I watched a bunch of Family Guy. Like, well, we watch Family Guy, like, every day. So you're probably watching, like, the later seasons of South like Park. Family Guy's no, horrible. dude, I went to college when, like, it was the number one show <laughs> in the world. The first four seasons are good, and then I it just, like, kind of, yeah, like, yeah, it out. It's a good show, but I, like, if I, I had to rewatch it all, I would only Okay, let's put it this way. Like, it's right up your alley, like, 
the episode when they poop out their mouth and stuff like that. Like, that is <laughs> Taste and Swatic he funny. He funny. He can't, he can't he, laugh at <laughs> Yeah. Like, that is Taste and Swatic funny. I think it's funny, but it's not... It's not, 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 it's not this type of funny for not, me anymore in my life. Either. Like, I can't watch The Office at home because every South Park commercial, they're cussing. And, and I got kids running through the house, and I'm like, oh, can't watch The Office on Comedy Central because it's South Park. <laughs> we, when we were staying out in Rapid for state wrestling, the, the office was on all day. Yeah, I it, you, you can just leave it on all day long. Anybody else want to change top five? I just added practical jokers. I'd get rid of the office completely. The office is overrated. It's not. Let's not get in that conversation. All right. Yeah, it's not getting that. Hey, that was fun. <laughs> okay, I have to, I'm not saying Woo! it's trash. I'm just saying it's overrated. That's fine. We should do right. I don't care. You're wrong, but it's okay. Opinions. <laughs> Nobody's wrong. All right. Nobody's right. Anybody else have anything to add? Well, you're wrong. <coughs> that was a little movie TV <laughs> talk, <laughs> talking comedies. We'll come back with maybe some drama series or something like that. Thanks for watching. Um, Ace, and take care of that one. All right. <laughs> Welcome to um, a new segment, Podcast on the Move. We're going around to different classrooms, and we are going to ask... Would you rather questions? We are in Mr. High Miller's anatomy class, and we are going to ask them, would they rather know when they die, or would they rather know how they die? So here we go. Do I just say, like, what I'd rather do? Just start talking. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'd rather know how I die, or no, when I die. So. <laughs> She's nervous. All right, guys. I would rather know when I die. When? So, yeah. Why? So I can know how much time I have left to do certain things I've never done. Okay. I'd rather know uh, how I die. Why? Um, so then I could prevent it. Nice. What'd you say? Me too. Prevent, prevent it. it. Um, <laughs> but Maya, if she wanted to prevent it, she never. She would have to try to prevent it her whole life. But if you knew Who cares? when, you could. That's decide, the dilemma. You could decide when you want to prevent it. I so I would say how. Yeah, but then you don't know what it is. Yeah, you don't know what it is. I said, I meant, wait, I meant, I meant, I meant, like, I want to know how, because I don't want to know when I die, so I just have to go with how, and that, yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay. I just don't want to know, like, I would rather know when I die, so then I can, like, plan what I want to do without certain things, so yeah, I have I'd agree. I'd want to know when so I can plan, like, do things that I want to do and not worry about, like, oh, this is going to happen. I should probably rent it. <laughs> I would want to know how I die because if I knew when, then I would, like, kind of, like, count down the days and that would kind of get depressing. And so if I knew how I died, I could try to prevent it. I agree. Yeah, yeah you answer and then we'll just... I want to know when I die so I can do crazy stuff. Like that could kill me, but I know I won't die. Exactly. All right. Okay. Hold on. Over here. Over here. You don't need to get closer. Just zoom in. Okay. I was gonna say I'd rather know how I die, but I liked her answer, so then I can just be like crazy and reckless, like. But I know when I'm gonna die. So. But wouldn't that change its course? Yeah. I don't know. You guys, I'm thinking about this too much already. That's That's my final decision. I want to know when I die, not how. All right, who's next? I would rather uh, know when I die so I can plan things to do. Good answer, sir. Yeah. Is this Ben? I would rather know when I die so that I can, like Lizzie said, just be crazy reckless until I know when it's my time. But hey, I feel like, here, give me a mic. I feel like, give me a mic. I feel like if you know when you're gonna die and you change your lifestyle changes, that date's gonna change. That's what I said. And you can only find out once. It can't. It can't change. It can't change. It can't change. change. If I decide to go skydiving every single day, there might be a day that my parachute's not gonna open because I'm not. Or if I know I'm not gonna die until I'm 97 and I pick up a smoking habit where I'm like three packs a day, I'm not gonna be 97. Or if you're like, oh, well, I won't die in a car crash, so um, let me just go run in front of this car because I'm not supposed to die today. If I know how I'm gonna die and I know that I get hit by a car, I'm gonna avoid the street. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because I would probably get anxiety counting down the days until yeah. my death. You'd also so. get anxiety how you die. Yeah. No. No, because then I would just not know. Not just old age. Yeah. Then I would just know, you know, well, it's not a surprise. Well, it's not like, everyone would just die. die. Well, I'm going to fix, like, diabetes, yeah, and I'm going to cut person, down on sugar and stuff. If you were if you were told today <laughs> that you are going to die tomorrow, or would just, you would be, you would try not to die. That was a stupid, yeah, yeah, stupid answer. Like, this is all great well, podcast yeah, content. Was. We can't hear what you're saying, so just yeah, keep why, that in your head. Why is it still on? Because um, Lauren has <laughs> I would rather know when I die so that I could tell everyone, get lots of sympathy, get lots of money, and then spend it all and go out with a man. I love that. <laughs> oh, get lots of sympathy? I die from a car crash. I would never know when, so it would just be like, okay, I'm gonna. And you can't not drive. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna not drive my whole life. So I like gonna win. Well, like you, you can wanna, fly a helicopter. Like, not die. No. <laughs> well, like, what if what if your like, course of death is like a heart attack? Yeah. 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 Very true. If you know that you're gonna die from a heart attack, if you know you're gonna die from a heart attack, you don't know when you're gonna die from a heart attack. How would you prevent that? Okay. Sitting here in bed, oh, I'm not gonna die today. I'm sitting in bed doing nothing. Hey, what are all those movies called where they try to Final Destination? Anybody seen Final Destination movies? Yeah. If you're gonna die, you're gonna die anyway. Yeah. I should die today. We're all terminal. Die die. Good answer. Everybody, raise your hand if you said how. One, two, three, four, five, six. Raise your hand if you said when. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Um, and we also need Mr. Heimiller's answer, so go get it, Mr. Heimiller. Here, Mike. Mr. Heimiller! I can see it. Yeah, I, I just knew it. Let's get a close up of this picture. Alright, my answer is I would want to know how I die. Ooh. If, it was, if it was something easily avoidable, I could avoid it. But if it was like an old age thing, I could just know, you know, it's going to be a long time down the road. And knowing when you die, that doesn't sound nice to me. That's old nice. age isn't an answer for how you die, though. Yes, it is. No. It, you could have different answers. If it's it should like, be like so you, you can't. What you have is saying is if you if run out of you breath in your sleep. Old age, yeah. Might be from a stroke and all yes. Oh, I, 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 I would be one of So it would say stroke. It wouldn't say stroke at old age. It just say how you die. So it can't say old age because that's that's when you die. It's a general term. Yeah. That's my answer. Yeah. Algebra one class. And we are going to ask another would you rather question for our podcast on the move. And the question is, would you, I can't believe I'm asking you this. Would you rather eat what chocolate, is it? Flavored chocolate flavored poop or poop that is flavored like chocolate? So it's in the form of poop but tastes like chocolate. Yes. It is exactly what it sounds like. Or, or, it's, yeah, like a re or it's like a Reese's but it tastes like poop. But it tastes like poop. Or chocolate. It tastes like poop or poop. You're actually eating poop, but it tastes like chocolate. Alright, here you go. Oh god. You gotta take the mic and oh, you guys can pass it back and forth. So chocolate that tastes like poop? Yes. <laughs> or would you rather eat poop? Would you rather but it tastes like chocolate? Full of poop. Keep eating poop. That tastes you just like know you're eating poop, but it tastes like chocolate. Why the chocolate tastes like poop? Yes. Yeah. Hey, talk a little loud. Maybe explain it. Did you say chocolate tastes like poop? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Chocolate that tastes like poop. The poop that tastes like chocolate. Yeah. 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 Chocolate tastes like poop. Hey, introduce yourself, Belarusian. Hold on, let's get Addy on here. We'll go up and down the aisles. Uh, probably poop that tastes like chocolate. Yuck! Hey, you forgot Ninja. We got him. Yeah. Chocolate that tastes like poop. Why would you want to taste poop? Not chocolate. Like poop. 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 poop that tastes like chocolate, bro. Probably chocolate tastes like poop because I don't know what poop tastes like. But it, it might taste like good. <laughs> it might taste good. All right. Hey, how many uh, how many chocolate tastes like poops was there? Chocolate that tastes like poop. You'd rather eat chocolate, but it tastes like poop. Wow. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. And how many poops that taste like chocolate? Oh, one, two, three. Um, yes. Mr. Bull, what's your answer? Let's go ahead and get Mr. Bull's answer real quick. What did you get? I would rather have poop that tastes like chocolate. <laughs> Yuck, disgusting. I'm super glad. I, 
my whole thing, my whole thing was I did not want to ingest feces because I've had like the chocolate. Yeah, it's just no, it's chocolate. not chocolate. chocolate. It's poop. It just tastes like something. Chocolate. You've had you've had the bamboozled, not they're called Corn the jelly beans chocolate. that all have like the bad flavors. Mm. It lasts for a little bit, but at least you're eating a jelly bean, not poop. I rather eat chocolate that tastes like poop. <laughs> hey, either way, chocolate that tastes like poop. another classroom. We're in Mr. McGee's accounting, I believe, class, yeah, correct? correct? Yes, accounting class. And we're going to ask them a would you rather question. We're, would you rather have a pause button in life or rewind button in life? So, here we go. who do you got? Who's going to go? I haven't got first. Rewind. Why? Because <laughs> if you think about it this way, you can just re rewind as many times as you want, like a couple seconds, and it'd basically be a pause button. But you have to live that over again. Well, yeah, but it'd be like one. You can hold it. So I would have to go with rewind. And if you've ever seen the um, series Rick and Morty, there's a whole episode based around it. it. Exactly. Um, so yeah, just do everything over. Um, definitely a pause button because life goes by super fast, and I feel like if you could pause, then it would. You said rewind. Pause. Pause. Okay. I would also the pause button because I've seen too many movies where rewind goes wrong. Like click. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These people obviously have no regrets. I do. So rewind. Rewind. <laughs> How far would you rewind? <laughs> Let's not get into the details here. <laughs> I would choose pause because then you can stop and think about your choices. Nice. Here we go, Chris. Pause or rewind button? I choose pause. Why? So I can think everything over. Well said. Joe? Um, I would say rewind because anything you mess up, you can always just rewind and do it over again. Any rebuttals? Any, anything? He said rewind too. So how many pauses was that? Three Boom. pauses. Well, how are you going to hit the rewind button if you're dead? Yeah, you're in your dying moments. <laughs> <laughs> or and you can stop, too, at that time. Like you're about ready to get hit by that car. Pause. Yeah, you're not paused. 
But if you pause, everybody else is paused. There, okay, how many pauses? Three pauses, and then you got four pauses, and then rewinds. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Oh, two more amigos. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, you got another one. Pause or rewind? Uh, pause? I don't know. You don't know why? I don't know what this is for. Pause or rewind? If you could have it today, pause or rewind button, which one would you rather have? Pause. Why? Just go do whatever I want to do. Because you could have everybody else stop and you can just mess with them and stuff like that? Yeah. Like in clicks. There you go. Because you can mess with people in pause. You can't mess with people in rewind. They can. Yeah, you can. You can just and then you just rewind it again. No, you can't mess with their wine because they're moving. You're like chasing them down and stuff. Hey, there you have it. A lot more wines than pause. Thanks. Are you on me? Yeah. Okay. All right. We are in another classroom podcast on the move. Would you rather questions? We are in Mrs. B's sophomore English, sophomore English class. They're working hard. They're, we are interrupting them. So the question we are asking. <laughs> Question we are asking is, are we doing that one? Yep. Yeah. Would you rather have loud and disruptive farts or silent and stinky farts? That's the question we're asking. The rest of your life. The rest of your life. Rest of your life. They're like, either silent and stinky or they're loud, loud and disruptive. Farts. Or, or like, oh um, okay, and yes, everybody has to answer this question. So we'll start down here. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Um, silent, so no one knows it's you. You have to say silent and stinky. <laughs> silent and stinky. Yeah, there it is. Silent and stinky. Silent and stinky. Loud and disruptive. Loud and disruptive? Why? All right, go over there. Trish, I didn't say why. Yeah, I know. We have too many people for that. Um, silent and stinky. Me too. Yeah. I'll have the silent but deadly. <laughs> the silent but uh, stinky. Silent and stinky. Oh. I think silent and stinky. Yeah! Here you go. Here you go. Silent and stinky. Silent and deadly. Okay. Oh, silent stinky. Silent stinky. Silent and stinky. Silent and stinky. Is that right? Silent but deadly. Okay. Silent but deadly. And then leave immediately. Silent and stinky. Silent and stinky. Why, Peyton? Over there. What do you think? No, I'm good. <laughs> Over there. Silent and stinky. Silent and stinky. Very loud. Yes. Yeah, Silent and stinky. Woo. Okay, so that was not a good question, like I said, because everybody said it. No, it wasn't. Loud. No, like, everybody had like the same answer. We had like two or three loud and disruptive. Okay, so we're going to do another one in this room. Okay, fair about this one. One more. One more. The question is... Would you rather be able to travel back in time or travel in the future? Ooh. In the future. <laughs> Why? Um, I don't know. Oh, good answer. <laughs> back in time because that's the fun place. Back in time. In the future. Because, Why? Because everything happens for a reason. Oh, oh okay. Yes, Over there. Ma Ma Mav's got it. Uh, I'd go back in time to teach the young, older people how to do stuff. And what? Then they the could, young, older? The older people, when they were young, oh. so they could saying? teach us more and have a continuous loop of more knowledge. Uh, back in time. Why? Same reason as Mav. <laughs> back in time so I can mess up all the mistakes that I did when I was a child. <laughs> back in time. Okay. <laughs> to fix the mistakes you made. <laughs> Back in time, because I love uh, the clothing and stuff from the 1800s. Good answer. Let's just go straight. Um, back in time to stop myself from breaking my collarbone <laughs> over a speed bump. I love that. Right here, right here, mom. Uh, back in time. Yes? Why? Yes. Um, so I can like change things I messed up. Okay, um, in the future to see where I'll be. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's mark your Back in time or in the future? Um, yeah. Here, get that close up shot. Sure. Back in time or future? The future. Why? To see things I'm going to do. Yeah. So you know them already? Yeah. Okay. Future. Hi. Same as fan. Okay. I'm going to the future because I don't want to live the plague. <laughs> oh, me too. Uh, back in time so I can meet my grandparents. Oh, that's 
back in time, so because then we won't ha don't have Corona. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Back in time, because it's better. Back in time, so I can change history. Back in time to relive good memories. Oh, oh good one. Did you get Peyton? Yeah, I did. Uh, can I choose? Can I choose both? No. Can I choose both? Would you not? Uh, that is no. Um, I I enjoy surprises, so I would say not the future. So I guess I would have to go back in time. Plus, I really love the music of the '50s, and I'd love to see like Elvis and the Beatles and Frankie Valli in their heyday. Yeah, that's her. Hey, Mrs. B's sophomore English class. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Carson. I'm here with uh, a new topic, conspiracy theories. Yeah, the moon landing's fake. The moon landing? <laughs> How? Give us backstory. Give us... Did you do any research on uh, this? It actually might be. TikTok. Uh, the footsteps did not match up. TikTok? The footsteps did not match I up. I guess there was like a picture of a flag. Why haven't we gone back oh to the moon? Gosh. <laughs> okay, first off, the footsteps did not match up from his suit to the images Maybe his on suit the moon. Wrong. Maybe they just put a, a nah, different no, suit on Nah, no, they there. didn't. Kirsten sees one TikTok and thinks he's a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not close enough to the mic, but yeah. There you go. Well, I mean, Cause they're, they they're definitely heard me. They definitely heard him. Yeah. I don't think they Give heard. us some explanation. All you... Well, first of all, why haven't we gone back to the moon? We have. <laughs> we just like we talk have. about it every day. We have? Yes. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> you think we've been <laughs> a bunch of robots? Yeah, you think they just went once and they're like, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. And we're we're up. We we're can good. live there. We're good. Oh, yeah, shut the game. And, well, we didn't go there for like 20 years after. That's probably Cap. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> That's definitely like a lie. All right, moon landing was definitely real. But hey, I'm gonna look this up. Maybe you should just ask. Uh, wait, what was the name? Armstrong. <laughs> Neil. 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 Lance? Neil. Not Lance. <laughs> Not Lance. He's the biker that took PEDs or whatever. Neil. Neil. <laughs> they landed on the moon six times between 1969 and 1972. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. So you're off. Okay, the moon landing is real. It was July 20, 1969, and then there were six more in the next three years. <laughs> next three years. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> I wish. I wonder if going to look up some. Conspiracy theory is solved. <laughs> no. Oh, I have a That's good one. Gucci man. Dan Schleiner, no. the creator of like... Wasn't he like huge when he went to prison? Okay, listen to this, listen to this. So Gucci Mane, the rapper, went to prison. He was fat, like really fat. Comes out of prison. He literally is like yoked I mean, and looks can... totally different. He has a, there's, there's like... So people say that he went to prison. People say Kodak got, Black's a clone. What about Eminem? He got cloned. In prison? I don't yeah. think they're... People no, the prison. government cloned him. I don't think the government chose Gucci they definitely did. to clone. <laughs> I would. I'd choose Bobby Schmerda. Look at this. <laughs> Again, another incorrect statement. Schmert. <laughs> Look at this. He looks like... Oh, I can't click on it. What about coronavirus? That's fake. I mean, China yeah. did the coronavirus. <laughs> China did. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks I mean, like... Some um, dude did eat a bat. player on the right, but... He went yeah, out a lot. He didn't have anything else to do. I don't know how they found out that that was the start. Conspiracy, conspiracy theorists suggested that the new 5G wireless broadband standard oh. may have caused or spread the coronavirus. <laughs> In the UK, we I don't even know. It can true. cause cancer. Okay. Uh, 5G. It's a virus, <laughs> not a. I know, but it can cause cancer. They say it, it might have been might have been created in a Chinese lab as a bioweapon against enemies. So exactly. COVID right. gun. Shoot <laughs> with COVID. Oh, they made it. I saw this thing. The government made a gun. It was like in like 1930. They shoot someone and it caused them to have a heart attack. <laughs> so you shoot them and it's like a little thing that sticks to your skin. And just spreads around and just have a heart attack. <laughs> that would <laughs> suck. <laughs> actually Boom! Yeah, that doesn't shock me. I mean, but like it's how? China. 
Government's gotta like be up to something. CIA can do one. Yeah, they get they get teleporters. They get time travel. What's real? Which one? Yeah, hey, what about Area 51? Yeah, Area 51. Yeah, I want to hear your thoughts on Area 51. Area 51? Area 51 I have a lot of thoughts on Area 51. E.T. is definitely in Area 51. Didn't Carson say, like, Area 41? Isn't it like people like... People on their deathbed from Area 41. 51. Uh, say, like... Okay, yeah, envision me dying. <laughs> okay, hold on. You're a person that was on Area 51 and you're dying right now. Carson, Alien first off, it's Area 51. <laughs> That's what happens. No they say they like stuff like aliens live among us. Aliens are if definitely people think real. they're researching aliens yeah. there, they well, are. We are so small yeah. compared to all of that. Have you stuff. seen American Dad? Oh, uh, a good reference. Oh, the alien is from <laughs> Area 51. <laughs> but guess what? It's a cartoon. <laughs> it's real in my eyes. But I bet that that cartoon was created by an alien from it. Oh, Area yeah. You know yes. Conspiracy, conspiracy theory about Area 51. Area 51 is a cover up for something bigger. Like what? Something. Exactly. Nice. Like the moon landing. No. They have the Great Pyramid. It's they like, have Mars in Area 51. It's like Gru. It's like Gru. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, have you heard of the... It's like Despicable Me. They I, shot the moon. I, I was just going to say... They and, they, and, they, and then put a cardboard like, Mars in the space. Despicable Me? Ooh. Despicable Me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, so hold on. You got to admit, though, Area 51, why else would they... Lock it off, like where you exactly. Can, like I mean, how the gate to get in is like what, two point five <laughs> miles away or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of people that tried to raid it. It was like in like. Did that ever happen? Barely. I think people just showed up to like the front front gate. And then they stepped their they foot over and then they booked it out. <laughs> yeah, they're they're. The hard people. part is, is, like you watch the people that said they were gonna raid it, and it's like. A thousand They're people. They're expecting a bigger turnout. They didn't look very smart. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, you guys need to come with us and raid it. It's like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, they're a bunch of old fat men from who haven't left their basement. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do, get this done. What about Big, Big <laughs> for America? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Two thousand fifty-seven sightings. I feel like he's just not real a sightings. Bigfoot. Bigfoot's he's just, real. He's just a dope monkey. <laughs> First of Bigfoot's all, it's gotta be real. It, no, he's just a monkey. You told me two thousand seven hundred people. Do you see. do you not follow Bigfoot Watch on Twitter or whatever? No. Every day they tweet. Mountain still Men. No, still no sight of Bigfoot. There's so many Bigfoot shows and they're all horrible. Mountain Man is horrible. funny. I've watched that uh, Nelk video. Yeah, that, well, there's the real Bigfoot. <laughs> Rafiki. <laughs> Rafiki. Rafiki. <laughs> How about the Loch Ness monster? That's that's cap. What, the Loch Ness Monster? Yeah. Oh, There's no way the Loch Ness Monster What about Megalodon Sharks? Those are real. Those, Those are extinct. <laughs> they're extinct. Those things, they're not, though. I don't think they're Did extinct. Did you see something that they're trying to bring back, like, in labs? Like, saber-toothed tigers and, like, yeah. everything? In, uh, uh, in like, we're, mammoths? We're, mammoths. we're stupid. Yeah. We're, we're gonna stupid. get but, but killed. But instead of bringing back a woolly mammoth, they call him Gucci Mane. <laughs> they did! <laughs> yeah. On yeah. accident. Yeah. yeah, as tests. Test. Again. Yeah, they brought Again. Gucci Mane in from prison, and they were testing DNA, and then... Well, he might be different. It's not a clone. Exactly. He was so good, and then he went to jail, and now he's trash. Yeah. I don't know if this is a conspiracy theory. I've never heard of him. He's not good. Gucci! The 27 Club? What's that? The 27 Club? Yeah. You die at 27? So it's like, it's a bunch of oh. artists. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uzi's in time. Uzi, Uzi. Who have died, who have... Supposedly sold their soul to the devil. Yeah, Polo G did. For, nah. -uh. They did. Who's Polo G? You heard, have you heard of the Twenty Seven Club? No. It's so when like, people like it? Kurt Cobain and oh yeah 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 so a have. bunch of other artists all died at age twenty seven. Oh, they sold their soul they, to yeah. Because they supposedly sold their soul to the devil for. Do you fame. know what selling your soul is technically? Well, what, what's like your, what's your explanation? Like giving people, <laughs> giving like higher up people, like control of your life for money and fame. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. That's what the Illuminati is. Not selling your soul to the devil. Here, what? devil, Illuminati. take my soul for what money and fame. The Illuminati? the Illuminati. What even is it? People say like there's something from the, like a war that in North Dakota they think it's from Illuminati. 
What is it? Let me look it up. Let me oh, okay, about? so uh, the Denver airport. No. Hang on. I heard this one first. Um, it took like, they went like $2 billion over their budget. Seven months later. And seven. they supposedly have like underground stuff under the airport, but it's like one of the biggest airports in the world, but it's like 10th in air traffic. So it's like. I think I've heard this before. And so like, uh, they have a horse in the front of Denver Airport, like right when you go. A real horse or a statue? It's a statue. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, a blue, they have it's a, real a blue. Uh, Denver Bronco. Bronco, and <laughs> it's supposedly <laughs> called Blucifer, Whoa. which is the third horse of the apocalypse. Oh, the three horsemen. Yes. Four horsemen. Of the horsemen? apocalypse, and it's supposedly the third or whatever. Okay. And so like they have like underground tunnels for like. Like straight to for the, the so no they have like underground stuff under the airport for like uh, if like something goes wrong in the U S or something That's for the higher ups Weird. to go in the bunkers yeah and, and supposedly when the, <laughs> there was a there was a bomb or something there was a nuke uh, assault or whatever Obama happened to be in Denver at the time oh yeah when it happened. And he went underground? Wasn't Harriet Tubman like a slave or something? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say it wasn't Harriet I don't even know how to say anything <laughs> after that. You were talking about the tunnel, though. What? <laughs> so you think as far as higher ups go, you think Gucci Mane gets in that tunnel down there? Maybe. His clone. The clone, not the, the clone, original. Not the original. Obviously. Actually, they should put the original, not the clone. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I, I bet. That tunnel. No, the OG one. But they also say that, in that like, I got my connection. For safekeeping. They say that the airport was so. There's like a little plaque in front of the airport that says "Established by the New World Order." NWO, like WCW, like back in the wrestling days. Mm. New World Order NWA? is supposedly <laughs> the Illuminati. That's what I was of. Yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? Which means, like, <laughs> That's there's an apocalypse me, coming. Me can't say. <laughs> but they say that there could also be, like, concentration camps down there. <laughs> like, currently? No. Like, oh, like they have, like, uh, yeah. Oh, I have to do the Man, that's, thinking. that's creepy. It kind of means skin crawl a little bit. Exactly. Um, hey, you guys, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was going to make fun of Preston. That's not what Harriet Tubman was a slave. Harriet Tubman was a sex slave. That's how you said the first time. You just That's said slave. Um, gonna found it. It's a safeguard complex in North Dakota was built during the Cold War, but people think it's related to the Illuminati. Okay. How? <laughs> I don't know. That was all they gave me. I have to pay a nickel now. It was built to detect that. incoming missiles, but much like one of the back door, it has a round circular circle on each face. What are we talking about? Illuminati. Oh. The Illuminati created the Egyptian pyramids. No, that's just... The building was only open CI for one yeah. day. In operation for one day. And I, I, bye. <laughs> do, you know that uh, do you know that there's missiles underground in South Dakota? Yeah. Arrows? <laughs> Have you heard about the... Uh, Arrows? No, uh, missiles. The super, <laughs> the super volcano <laughs> under... What about super volcano? That it might erupt. Yes. In Under Yellowstone? Wyoming? Yellowstone? Yeah. They should just get a giant plug. <laughs> I think that makes it worse. Yeah, that'll mean I ain't gonna let it breathe. Don't plug it up. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about it. If you have to go to poop really bad, if you let a little bit out, compared to if you plug... No. The plug? Way worse be, plug? If you plug, where's it gonna come out? Your mouth. <laughs> what are you gonna do? No, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna throw up. You're gonna throw up. I don't think it goes... Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> What if it comes out your ears? Nice log comes out of your mouth. Wait, so how big is this super volcano? Like, will super it? Super big. Like, it'll kill. Super. Will it kill South Dakota? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll kill off the entire United like, States. I think it was like 75% of the continental United States. Yeah. We better get out of here yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> we better get out. We better get out. And that's just from like the ash. Person, can in the air? Ash too. Cloud will come the ash cloud. Manhattan. You better get now, you hear? Get. So when you see the you see ashes in the air, you better yeah. get. No, <laughs> ash is a problem for like Mississippi. Function. South Dakota's problem is we're dead. Yeah, yeah, we're gone. We're Could we like make a metal boat? 
The float. What? Um, I don't think. <laughs> Why do you need a metal boat? You can have a wood boat. The wood so boat. Gonna what are you gonna float on? The lava. No! <laughs> Eat through your metal. All right, I'll just go to the middle of the. You think you got obsidian or That's something? That's why we go to lake. Wakanda the and you get vibranium. Vibranium. You think the lava is just gonna look at the lake and be like? We need some. Nah. Hey, Dante's Peak. Watching the movie. <laughs> we can get yeah, we can get some water and just throw it in the water. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get an <laughs> infinite water source. <laughs> Two Dante's buckets. Peak. Did you hear me? What? Watch the movie. Dante's Peak. Is it PG thirteen or? I don't know. <laughs> get watching if it's R. You shouldn't recommend it. If it's, yeah. yeah. If it's PG thirteen. He's over thirteen. Is he? His Mentally? Yes. <laughs> Mentally immature? I don't think when you go to the movie theater, like, hey, you look pretty immature. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in. You can't go hey, in. Let, let me test you. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> All right, you can't go in. <laughs> Would you rather eat? <laughs> JFK is assassination. That's a, that's a big one. I'm writing the paper on that. How's it going? Well, you want me to read you what I got? I don't want to read the intro. <laughs> I'll read you what I got. Kennedy got shot. All right, all right. How much do you have? Okay, you haven't answered any of my questions. Oh, that's he, an it's outline. A, wait, that's an outline, buddy. He an outline. Oh, he's got about one paragraph. JFK, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, was the 35th president of the United <laughs> of the United States of America. He was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald. <laughs> Oswald. <laughs> Oswald. May, Oswald. May not have an oratory presentation, is it? <laughs> may not have acted alone in the killing of President John F. Kennedy because perhaps the government believed it was best not to release key information on other believable conspiracy theories surrounding his death. Like a second shooter on the grassy knoll. Being the president of the United States comes with many risks. Sadly, JFK yes, paid the biggest else. consequence. Period, 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 period. Ellipsis. Ellipsis. Death. Yep. That's your intro? Yeah. Pretty good. I wrote yeah. that myself. You know, my Jane sister did not Jane write that. She doesn't even know where I'm writing my paper on. Next topic. Call her up. <laughs> Tupac Shakir. Call her up. Call her up. Shakir? What do you care? Shakira? Shakira? <laughs> Michael Jack. A lot of people think Michael Jackson's still alive. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was spotted at his own funeral. Nope, he was dead. Why would you go to your own funeral? Have you ever you watched wanna... the do-over? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ending's pretty gross, but it's a good movie. Good movie. The ending. Don't the watch the ending. The ending's the best part. I don't watch the ending. Well, I mean, when they heard do over, you should probably cut that off. Can we talk about the Mandela effect? What's this? Can we talk about the Mandela effect? Nelson Mandela? Yeah. I haven't really heard much about that. No, the Mandela effect is like. Oh, I heard that. Oh, Mandela effect. Stuff you remember as being different as one like now. So, like, there's like stuff like the Bernstein Bears. Bernstein Bears? Bernstein Bears? Yes. What would they do? It's the Bernstein. It's an A. Okay, what about it? It's just different than like what you remember it as. So here, I'll look some up. Like we call it pita bread, but it's actually supposed to be pita. So uh, one of them is here. No, like how tricks used to have like, yeah. shapes. Yeah. Wait. But now that we're older. Well, like Fruit Loops. Like circles because tricks are for kids. So we have Jif. Jif peanut it. butter. People think it's you think of it as Jiffy, but it's Jif. Curious George never had a tail. Yeah. What? He's supposed to. He's a monkey. Well, maybe he got it cut off when he became <laughs> a pet. No, but people thought they remembered him. It's oh, no, the Flintstones, like... not the Flintstones. It's the Flintstones? It's the Flintstones. Flintstones. It's Oscar Mayer, <laughs> not Meyer. It's the... No, it's not. That yeah, is. Why does this There's an A in it. There's an A in it. Because you're a kid and you hear it differently. Oh, you... it's like you used to see like chicken nuggets as like dinosaurs, and now you just see them as... Maybe that's when because did I see as there's no there's no maybe tea. that's because they have no teen nuggets, dino nuggets. Okay. So it's like time travels and then they like is it supposed to be? Like yeah. No. Like Fruit Loops is the real. I have no butterfly idea. Butterfly Mandela effect. No, the ma you're effect. thinking butterfly effect. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's it's the cause of false memories. Yeah, it's what it's when you remember something as a kid but you don't remember the same thing as an adult. Yes. Like Pikachu's tail. That would take place. Pikachu has a lightning bolt tail. No. What color is it though? Is it Yellow and orange? See, that's wrong. 
what, oh, orange and yellow? Oh, no, it's just, it's just yellow, my bad. <laughs> there, is there orange stripes on it? Or no, there's well, black no, on peop, it. Yeah, people think there's black on it, I guess. There I guess. is. Oh, I feel no. like if you know that, then... Kind of a nerd. Sorry. We're going to wake up tomorrow and is that I apple? I created Pikachu and, 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 and uh, pottery. Pear phone. It was supposed to Give be me a better one. one. All of these are poor. Oh, Two double, oh, double stuffed Oreos only has one F, I guess. I don't care about okay. that. What does it have to do with? I didn't. When I was a kid, I didn't go. Oh, let me look at these. CP three O has a silver leg. What would you do as a kid? I didn't he did originally. Them. He was all silver originally. I don't know what these. I'm just reading these off. Okay, give me better ones. That Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> yes. What about it? Uh, it's not what Forrest Gump actually said. If you listen closely, he says. Life was like a box of chocolates. Oh, um... Okay, so I misheard it. <laughs> um, I don't get Darth it. Vader I feel like you're trying to I'm cover this up. Father? Are you part of it? Part of what? This isn't a conspiracy theory. Yeah. How? What'd Whoa. you say? It's instead Darth of... Vader never said, yeah. I'm your father. Luke. No, he never, he said, never said that. I am your father? No. What'd he say? All he did say was, I am your father. That's oh. what it says right here. That's no, he says, right here. he says, reach out, grab my hand. Join, Join me. me. We're close or something. He says, I'm your father. I, just, I don't like this one. Fine. There is red. There's red on the table. Mandela effect. No, there's not. Okay, it's not cool. Mm -hmm. I don't get this. I Ow. Throw this over my head. Yeah. Whatever. It's kind of dumb. I never it's remember tricks it's just, as it's shapes. Just, I don't ever remember tricks as... I'm pretty sure, all I'm pretty sure tricks has fruit in it, doesn't it? Like, tricks are never shapes. No, they weren't. They, no, they, they were just circles. Yeah. So you were tricks just, were it's not okay. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I had tricks all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty tricks, sure tricks, tricks are pretty like grapes, or like they're all like grape, like has like the purple grapes in it, like the grapevine. No, it's just a circle, and then it's like. Are there, and then there's like watermelon in it. Like, you you know, what, what am I thinking? Tell me you don't remember that. Let me see. No. Let well, me see. That was never a thing. Yes, it is. Uh, the Monopoly guy's monocle. What about it? Never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Still on it. Come on. You never had one. What do you mean you never had one? Literally tricks right there. Those, that's the you always version. remember Monopoly guy them. having a monocle. I only remember Monopoly guy having a monocle because Ace Ventura said he did when he... He never had a ah, monocle. You did not pass go. You do not get $200. Yeah, he monocle. never had a monocle. He had two glasses. He had the small glasses. Those shapes are bad. Okay. Exactly, Mandela effect. No, it's not the Mandela effect. Yes, because, it is. No, it's because it was changed by Hasbro Gaming Company. No, it wasn't. Okay. It probably was, to be honest. I played so, Monopoly. All that the other stuff night. gets changed all the time. The the rat and mouse trap is different than it was in the first. That, box. I, I used it's to like play that a lot. It's a good game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this how the, changes all the so time. So this is how the Mandela effect started. So, so does so syrup. Nelson Mandela syrup. <laughs> died in 2013. Okay. However, countless people dis distinctly remember him dying in prison in the 1980s. Okay. Sick. <laughs> 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 and that started a whole M Mandela effect about Trick Serial and uh, Monopoly yes. Guy. What, curious George. <laughs> Looney Tunes. Well, tell me this one. So spell Looney Tunes. And how it was you remember I don't even it as. know, because I, when I was a kid watching Looney Tunes, I didn't oh, read, oh, I just oh, listened to him say, better that, better that, better that, better that, folks. Looney Tunes, L O O N I, or L O O N E Y T O O N, no, is it you? Exactly. U N E S? That's, that's. I just never looked how it's spelled. I don't know. It's U N S. It's U N S for people that would say this one, but I can't. Oh, Stevie Wonder can see. That's one. Stevie <laughs> <laughs> Wonder, I can't see. What Whoa, he can actually see. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Hawking can actually walk. Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> He's got speaking. He can ones. talk too. Hey, that's a that's a conspiracy. Is Helen Keller real? Oh, no. Yeah, how how can you dead. write a book when you're deaf and blind? She didn't write it. Yeah, she oh, wasn't fully. Talk, how could she talk if she was? She didn't talk. Okay, so she so no. wasn't born with these conditions. Oh, no. She wasn't water. born with she them. She said water. How did she get them then? Just run. Water. Brick wall or something? How do old people she get blind? Become blind? How does she know what water is? Exactly. Her eyes. All right, let's let's be done with this. Water. <laughs> water. I want you to go. What are we asking the conspiracy? How does it happen? I don't know. Maybe it was all made up by the Helen Keller's 
person to help her just to make sure people would believe in something bigger than themselves. Water. Wrap it up. <laughs> Never got to talk about Water. Tupac. Goodbye. Bye. Wrap it up. Bye. Tupac was seen. Are you gonna say something? No. Kaden says bye. Tupac was seen by Biggie. Yeah, Biggie's son. Biggie. Yeah, it sounds like Biggie's son wanted to be in the news for an afternoon. The Biggie Cheese. <laughs> and then. I'm right. <laughs> whatever. You know who the Big was. Cheese is? Uh, big Cheese. Oh. Biggie? No. No, it's off of Flushed Away. No, it's from uh, the uh, the Barnyard oh. show. Oh, back to the Barnyard? Yeah. Back at the Barnyard. He was the... Oh. Uh, Boom Mandela Effect. <laughs> he was the fat rat. Yeah, back to the Barnyard. Who did? I just didn't What's know. What's it supposed to be? Back at the Barnyard. Ooh. So, that, so it's Mandela Effect because someone's incorrect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now if I'm wrong, I'll be like, oh, oh, it's the Mandela Effect. I thought it was. Look up Mandela Effect. If I remember it wrong, I'll just use it on the Mandela Effect. On okay, I will. Because I'm interested on it. It's pretty interesting. Not that I don't believe you. I'm sitting there going, so if you... If no, you, it's not. It doesn't it exist. It's just, oh, my bad. I slipped my memory. <laughs> That's what I mean. To me, it's things that you forget or you <laughs> say, like, life's a box of chocolates. That's not the Mandela effect. It's mishearing it. No, it's the people, it's people that, that made that famous. Or like even Luke, I'm your father, was made famous because people didn't want to do the whole, Luke, grab my hand, all that whole line. It's just, Luke, I am your father. And then why was it continued that way? Because Tommy Boy and Chris Farley. What do you do? Tommy he Boy? He got the fan in his office. He's going, Luke, Luke, <laughs> that's a, your father. That's a good movie. And so everybody did that. And then he... Welcome to episode 24 post game show. We're going to actually continue our podcast on the move, even oh. though we're not moving. Stationary. We're just here. We're going to do our podcast on the move. Hopefully you can't hear all the typing in the background. Nate's really, really studying his typing skills. And Caden. And so if you hear some tip tap roos it's them in the background. So anyway, podcast on the go. We did a lot of would you rather questions. We interrupted a lot of classes. Hopefully the students from Geertsen High School appreciated all of that. Mm. What question were we going to do? Would you rather... Save yourself one revive time. Revive yourself one time. Save yourself one time from death. Revive yourself. Or, or bring, back. bring back someone from the dead. Could be anybody. Anybody in, in history. Ever. Anybody. Ever that's been dead. Yeah, ever, ever. So here we go. I'm, you want me to start? Yeah. I would have a tough time trying to decide who to bring back. Oh. What age would they be when they came back? The same age they died? Um, I'd say your choice. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you're about <laughs> them, I get to pick. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Same thing with yourself, you okay? Make, you can make If you die at 75 because of uh, heart failure, you get to revive yourself at 20. Well, if anything... You don't get to go back and pass, but you're I'd 20 like that current year. I'd bring back Whoa. Will Chamberlain. That's like Captain America. And turn him one, and he's going to be my son. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very creative, clever answer. That but was. Kind of like odd that you just came up with that. That means I got a great son. A great son. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. That's a good answer. A son that can. So you would bring someone else back. Things. Huh? You'd bring mm -hmm. someone else back. Yeah, if I could do that. But anything else, I'd revive myself. <laughs> I, could, I could go skydiving or anything. And, oh, I wouldn't care if I hit the ground yeah. hard. Like, you wouldn't choose any other, like, Kobe Bryant and bring him back and have him be one? It had to be Wilt Chamberlain? Yeah, because he's the most dominant person ever. Maybe not in today's game. Probably. Well, I guess we'll have to see after you bring him back and he's yep. one in 17, 18, 19 years. So. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years from now, you'll be on the lookout Chamberlain Jr. for Alex Stevenson Jr. <laughs> You're going to rename him, aren't you? No, Wilt, Wilt Stevenson. Wilt Stevenson, there you go. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> you can change your name to Wilt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I, would, I, I still don't know who I would bring back if I could. I mean, I think the obvious answer is... Jesus. <laughs> and I think if if you say anything else other than Jesus, it's all of a sudden you're a bad person. Bad person. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna say Jesus is off the table. <laughs> you can't pick Jesus. No offense, Jesus. No offense at all, but yeah, we're just gonna no, eliminate that because otherwise you're a bad person no matter what you say. So, mm. 
Anybody else? What do you think, Bird? Uh, I'd revive somebody, Stop but it. I don't know who. Like, I, I don't have a definition. Do you bring back someone from the dead or revive someone? Because that's two different things. Bring back somebody from the dead. It would be cool, though, to like bring back that. like Thomas Edison or like um, Nicholas Tesla and like be like, this is how it is now. <laughs> you yep. might not want to bring back like George Washington, though. Why? Why? In this society? Because he has no teeth. Not good. <laughs> because of his wooden teeth? Uh, how dare you? Dentistry has come a long way. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true. You got to kind of, you know. You can't yeah, bring yeah. back someone that old. Yeah. Yeah, that would be hard. That would be, yeah. To tell them that, they're like... To tell no. them that? I, I guess I, I'd have to be selfish here and say I'd revive myself. Me too. If I can't bring back Wilt. <laughs> <laughs> did you get like a paper on Wilt Chamberlain or anything nope. like that? No, he just loves him. Tupac. That's a nice one. Tupac, would you bring him back? Probably not. Me neither. I'm not a good guy. Alive. No. Yeah, he is, he's, 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 he's still alive, he's so alive. I mean, you gotta wait for him to die to bring him back. <laughs> um, I don't think I could decide on one person to bring back from the dead. Maybe my father-in-law, if I could. I think he'd be fun to hang out with, make him my age. Maybe that. That would be, would Carmen even be, how would that, that work? That would be weird. <laughs> well, it's not like, Walt Chamberlain has like 700 kids or something. It's not like <laughs> if you bring them back, they all just die. At one you're right, old. you're right. Well, they won't know it's Walt Chamberlain. Well, that's like, my point. Who's that? That's, that's Walt Stevenson now. Walt Stevenson! <laughs> <laughs> Adopted. Lance That would be so funny. Yeah, Lance Stevenson is my dad. He, you guys look a lot, a lot like. Yeah, him. I know. Yeah. Like he's like. Make that blowing face. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are <laughs> identical. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you said what? I said bring back somebody from the dead, but. but doesn't know. Yeah, but I don't really know who. Okay, so let's maybe change I'll it. Just revive. Would you rather? You have twenty-five seconds to decide. Go. Right now, everybody. Twenty seconds left. I revive myself. Yeah. You're gonna die in 18 seconds, or you can bring someone else back. Then what would you do? I'm gonna revive, revive myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> super, everybody was super selfish. Wait, it's one or the other? It's an exchange of life? I give myself life. Yeah. Just cause like I could be like so reckless. You could like, really just like, drive 100 miles. I'd probably anywhere. save it up yeah. like my whole life, and then once I get super old, yeah. I'd probably if like I haven't had, God forbid. But what if you get yourself into some trouble and you go to anything. jail and you're like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> and then bring Why do we have to bring that up all the time? Right? <laughs> bring yourself back. Sorry. I like, how, I like how in this whole revive thing, every time we've talked about it, it's been giving ourselves like a shot or something. Like I know. Because it's <laughs> killing you ever ourselves. Have you seen like something. any black ops when they revive themselves? It's shit. Stim. Video game? Yep. You mean? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's outstanding. What how else are we going to revive them? Like, ooh. Well, I think it's our choice right now. I don't think we have what? to shoot ourselves up right now. I think we can just <laughs> say reviving yourself is like a. Double snap. Gonna clap. Nope. Revive. Yeah, I mean... Well, how are you supposed to stab yourself? <laughs> if you're dead. Have someone else stab you. Well, someone else can clap and stab you. What if that was something, the only way you get revived is no, someone like else does dirt, it for you. When they bring back, uh, what? No. What's his name? Who? In the dirt. The, the dirt? dirt? Oh. It's oh wow. Yeah, let's not talk about that Jack either. in the beanstalk? Pass. <laughs> yeah, the... Do you think the giant ever survived that fall? Probably yeah. not. I've always wondered. Oh, you guys, I have a huge question here. This is a real question. This okay. is off topic. Have you guys ever had gizzards? Like, they're, 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 they're really good. No. Yeah. Not, not healthy at all, but I've always wondered. That comes from a bird, obviously. The gizzard is used to digest the bird's food. I think I they, put, they, they swallow rocks and the rock, yeah. like, in their craw, and they, like, that's how they digest their food, right? How come when you eat gizzards, there's, like, not, like, one or two rocks in there? Like, how come you don't get any rocks? Don't they, like, clean them out? No, I mean, this is me. I don't know, maybe. They have to. I've always wondered that. Mm -hmm. They probably have to. Like, if you're going to, like, a chicken poultry place, they probably have a way to clean them out. Like, with cows. Maybe just, like, disintegrate them. a bunch of poop in the cow skin. Well, maybe the rocks go right through, too. Yeah. Probably. Straight out the back end. Yeah. <laughs> straight, straight <laughs> because, you know, that's why birds go on, like, power lines and stuff. They're yeah. they go no, that's the how, rocks that's how go they right charge. back up and poop. Because they're battery powered. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Bourgeoisie. Mm -hmm. They are part. Yeah, That's a conspiracy control. theory for you. What? The birds are part of the bourgeoisie. I don't know what that is. <laughs> In 1980 like, or something, Ronald Reagan replaced all the pigeons and birds, and now they're robots watching us all the time. Can you go back the to the bourgeoisie thing again? I don't know what that is. 
I feel like it's an inappropriate Birds word. Birds are a part of the... <laughs> Isn't it like a... <laughs> it's a vine. Yeah. It's like a TikTok. It's, it's really funny. Well, I think bourgeois... Bourgeoisie. bourgeoisie. Yeah, I know. I think that's an up. inappropriate term that we can't say I don't know on how to spell it. the podcast. It has a J in it. I was obsessed with that last year. Birds are part of the... Look up bourgeois, please. Bourgeoisie. It's French. Special order. Yeah. What is bourgeois? Carl Max. Oh! It's, it's not a, bad. Bougie. I got to send you a text. Bougie. Bougie. Uh, no. It's and this is... Uh, I'm going to Texas Roadhouse tonight and it's a Friday. I'm a Catholic. Oh, bourgeoisie, the middle That's class, typically I with reference it. it to so its much. perceived materialistic values. Yeah, I've read that already. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking right. up on... So pretty YouTube. much you're, you're in the upper class, right? Yes. The you're first. rich, you're middle, middle to upper class? class. Middle. It says middle. Okay. No, I, said, wait, I thought it was so much yes. racier than that. I'm kind of disappointed now in the word bourgeois. You want it to be racier? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the middle. Wow. Okay. Okay. And replacing them with spies wait, that are now that watching on. us. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. Don't. <laughs> 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 well, they haven't been recording. The birds or? work for the bourgeoisie. What? Fan? Nah, we're okay. All right. Well, that interrupted when I looked up bourgeoisie. It interrupted our podcast. Bop, 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 bop okay, let's uh, move on. Sorry, I brought that up about birds. I didn't mean for that to go off into a different uh, ta- tangent. Birds beats. But Battlestar Galactica. Birds beats. <laughs> birds beats. Battlestar Galactica. Okay, what's um, what's another one that we were gonna do? The other one. Oh. What's our backup? Jer care. Oh. What's our backup? Would you rather? Would you rather be hot or cold? Go. Cold. Cold. I can't say it louder. Cold. I can no. Cold because I can wrap myself up with a blanket. Exactly. Cold, 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 cold. Four colds. All you hot people out there, get out. Leave. Be gone. Hey, another one. Jared, what is it? Come on. Fast. Uh, Would you rather lick a dirty toilet seat or be in prison for a year? Lick a dirty toilet seat. Lick a dirty yeah. toilet seat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. In prison for how long? That, like, a year. A year? A year? A year! For just licking a toilet seat? Dirty toilet seat. There's poop and pee on it. Oh, I'm licking that. I'd I'm lick the licking. toilet inside oh, okay. the toilet. <laughs> the toilet how about more. three months? Prison. Still licking the toilet seat. One month. Still licking the toilet seat. 20 days. Still licking the toilet seat. Four days. Prison. I'm going to jail. <laughs> 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 we uh, found his limit. Um, Another one. What's the backup? Let's go. You're supposed to be ready. Cheat and be no, a different <laughs> one. <laughs> These are all bad. Would you rather be born with an elephant trunk or a giraffe neck? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to yell. He went. <laughs> I think giraffe neck. I'm gonna say elephant trunk. <laughs> Huge. You yeah, know. but you be every time you walk in the classroom, you're like. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a rat walking around the school. That would be rat. An elephant trunk? I could just sit back here, and if I need that mic to be closer, I just run. <laughs> 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 or if you're thirsty, I mean, think of how much rest my hands are going to get throughout the day when I could just be like, you know, I'm going to eat some food, and I'm going to grab my trunk, and put it in my mouth. Peanuts. Peanuts. Well, yeah. you're right. Shower-wise, yeah. That is so good. How are you going to, like, you're not going to be able to eat if you have a giraffe neck, though. Maybe yeah, you would. You have, How do no, giraffes T-Rex, eat? T-Rex arms. You'd have to, like, go down. They put their neck down. That's why I said elephant trunk. I just saw too many problems with the whole giraffe neck thing. All yeah, right. I got another one. But you didn't answer yeah, the question. What? I'd rather have a trunk. I said uh, giraffe neck. Trunk. Mm, trunk. Trunk all the way. Trunk. Would Jerry's, you rather you be stranded on an island way. by yourself or with the person you hate most? Well, without getting really dark here, is there food on the... Is there food on the island, or is it like one of those things where one of us kills the other one and eats the other one? No, there's food, there's everything. It's just... Straight. I'm by myself. Uh, how big's the island? <laughs> how big you want it? If I have, like, a uh, volleyball with me, I think I'd be fine. Like, like Tom Hanks. Oh, like Wilson? Yeah. Spalding! Yeah, I could do that. What about... Have you ever seen Island of Chipmunks? What? 
I wanted a chipmunk because they had balls as bats. Uh, yeah. we, just, we just read Lord I'm gonna of the say, Flies. And that's a good one. I I'm going to say with the person I hate the most, because I don't think I hate that. I don't think I ever have like hatred for somebody that bad where I would want to be by myself. I think I'm Tom Brady. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Just think about that. Like, oh, just, I could just have, just I could just have him smile at the sun, and then, like all the sun rays would just reflect off, and it'd be like really cool because <laughs> of his teeth, and they're fake. <laughs> These are some deep Get, ones. That was weird. Did, what did you guys say? I feel like I'm the only one answering here. What you say? You guys didn't say anything. I said. Was a good, I'd be by myself because yeah, I can't stand myself. some Person people. Hate most, I got yeah. a lot of... You Person can, I hate most. You can build a friendship. <laughs> I'm just going to say, no. hey, it's time to bury the hatchet. You and me, let's hash this <laughs> out. They need special medication. What and does then, that like, mean? I can't, like... You know? Oh, so the person I hate the most is crazy. And yeah. they, need, they need help and stuff. Okay. Then, and shame on you. The <laughs> 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 it's... <laughs> That. Well, I guess um, let's move on to the next question. Uh, win the lottery or live twice as long? Like big Powerball win, like uh, you're yeah. set for life. Or oh, I don't want to live twice, twice as long. long. I don't want to be 200 walking around. That it, I, I guess with when you two girls on my side. So what? hold on, if I live twice as long, do I get to live like the life over again, or do I go to all the way to 200? Yeah, twice I'd say win the lottery because yeah, once lottery, you hit a certain you age. Life. Yeah. You see, like 90, like six. Old ladies, six-year-old ladies, and they're like, "Yeah, I think it's time." <laughs> no. Oh no, Grandma! Please don't. Yeah, I, I think that one's the easiest. Would you rather we've had? I, it ever has been yeah. lottery, right? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? Oh yeah, we I'd talked about this both. one. I'd say both. I'm Helen Keller. Let's go with. It's would you rather I'm not? Would my you? Uh, I would um, say I would rather lose my hearing. Yes. I gotta be able to see. After sitting in some of my classes that I have, I'd much rather use my <laughs> hearing. So. <laughs> me too, Word. He convinced me. No offense, Lose teachers around the world. I don't think it's the teachers. It's not the teachers. It's it's the teachers some of the you say? I can't hear you. <laughs> so your hearing or your <laughs> seeing? Yeah, I know, but Vision or just think of all the beautiful things that you can see out in the world. I literally could not see. I would be blind. I'd have to. That comes with it? Yeah. What do you mean? Tinnitus. Yeah, that's that's not fun. Do you have that? You have a ringing in your ears and stuff. No, that's not fun at all. But I thought it was deaf, not having tinnitus, because those rings are different. No. I get it with being with hearing loss. Yes, hearing loss or deaf. But what age would I be deaf from? Right now. Right now. Tomorrow. Okay, then I could still like talk. I think I wouldn't be like mute. You just wouldn't know. You asked the question, I believe. Your rules. All right, you got one? This is a really weird one, but... Okay. <laughs> Would you rather Bear with us on Jerry's question. 100 oh. duck-sized horses <laughs> or one oh, horse-sized duck? Ooh, I, ducks are mean anyway. I'd say 100 horse-sized ducks. Me too. Oh, wait. Oh. Horse-sized horse ducks, ducks or duck-sized horses? Duck I'd go 100 duck-sized horses. Duck horses. Yeah, you can just right. kick them. Deaf people are more likely to have it. Okay, that, I never knew that. That's clever or interesting. Clever? Not clever, sorry. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Uh, a hundred duck-sized horses? Are we, do we all agree with that one? A lot of baby ducks. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred-sized, hundred little ones. And they're and they're horses. A big I mean, duck could literally just hop. Yeah. yeah. A big a big duck with their big big teeth and <laughs> stuff. Ow. Ow. Ow, you did. You did. Got you. Like, what if it's like a goose and like you run up on it? That'd be scary. You see guys. that thing flying? Oh. oh, I got another good oh. one. Got one. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready. Would you rather live your life over as the opposite gender or start your life <laughs> over as a kid again? Okay, start okay. over. Are you, from right start now, I'd be the opposite gender? Uh, you could start your wife over as the opposite gender. Or start, or start it over. Chris yeah, Brown. start your own life over. My own life? Yeah. <laughs> well, would, I, would I remember everything that I have right now? <laughs> no. Ooh. So, in other words, would you rather be born again as a girl or born again as a boy? Is that what your question or really same, is asking? The same boy. Like you'd be oh, okay. So you'd as be a boy, person, but you'd be reborn. And I, and if I you're don't. Same gender, you'd be born as the same person. But like, if you switch genders, you'd be a complete. Different I'd be Matea instead of Matt. Do. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Fegan. Sorry, Fegan. <laughs> I'd be Alexa. <laughs> or Alexandria. <laughs> Who would I be? <laughs> I have a cousin named Alexandria. Um, Ma Matt. Shout out. Who would I be? Alex. Ma Mark. Mark? <laughs> I'd be Mark. Mark. No. I think I think we'd call you Mo. <laughs> <laughs> My name be Morris. Well, well, be? Morris. <laughs> Morris. What would you be? Um, Brenda. Brad. Yeah. 
Brandy Seymour. Brandy. Brandy. Yeah, Brandy's good. Brandy. Branda. Well, let's get let's get real. I mean, it could be Bradley, but it's just a girl. I guess. That'd like be Alex, weird. but a girl. It's a girl. Yeah. Molly. Is. Bradley, but a girl. Molly, but a Alex. boy. So you guys keep asking these questions, but nobody answers. I give my answer. I'm gonna be reborn. Reborn. Yeah, Sam. I. Yeah, reborn. Yeah, Actually, yeah, can yeah. I just switch for like wanna, two seconds? Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Like, no, you don't get day. to know. Like after you do this, you don't come out and go, I take it back! I take it back! <laughs> <laughs> it's over. You wouldn't know that you changed it's your over. life. It's over. You wouldn't know that you just restarted your life. You just did that. Wah. You don't even know if you're a boy or girl because you're like, nah. <laughs> Exactly. And then one more question. You got one? We're at nine minutes and um, 17 seconds. One. You got one, Clay? What? You got one? Would you rather question? Uh, would you rather be a genius Nate, you got one? that nobody believes or an idiot that everyone believes? Actually, I do. I've always wondered this genius. question. But, like, what if you had three wishes? This is totally different. But, like, if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? If I had three wishes, what would I wish for? You want to hear mine? I feel like that's pretty private information. No, but like <laughs> mine. Because I wishes never it. come th come true if you tell people. But like if you had like a genie, like the same rules of Aladdin wishes. apply. Okay, like I'm you ready. Can't bring anybody back. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mine is I'm gonna be good at everything. That's the one wish I would use. Like I I wish to be good at everything that I do. If I become a surgeon, I'm gonna be the best surgeon in the world. Good at everything or great at everything. Great. Or excellent. The best. <laughs> the, best. The, best the best. The best. I'm going to be the best. A lot best of pressure comes oh, with that. When you're the I best bottle flipper, everyone wants to see you do bottle flips, but yet you have surgery in an hour. But what if they, yet someone picks it for <laughs> I'm gonna you? I'm going to be the best mom. What if they pick it for you? I'm going to be the best wife. I'm going to be the best driver. Nobody can the best stereotype chef? me. The best, best chef. chef. <laughs> the best interior designer. The best dolphin trainer. The best. I feel like dolphin. being the best dolphin I'm trainer <laughs> is. You don't want me. You're, you trainer. are. If I if if I'm saying this correctly, you are. <laughs> you are um, swimming in some shallow waters, there, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with dolphins out there. Really okay, so that's only one wish, even though you just I wish for the best it. of everything. I'd, yeah, I'd maybe store those wishes yeah. to the side. The other two? No, you only yeah. have so long to use them. Be, be financially... You don't have so long to use them, but you're just going to want to be the best at everything, and you're going to leave the the leave the other two? Yeah. Be financially rich. I'd auction them off. Be financially rich? Yep. So health, no rich. That's <laughs> 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 literally what you just said. Okay. Yeah, just so that's one wish. You guys, it's three wishes. I just want to use one. I don't know. <laughs> that is the best one. I've thought about it for so long. Be great at one sport, but I don't know. I want it to surprise me. Bowling? <laughs> it could be cricket. <laughs> soccer? That's a good one. Soccer? You make the most money in soccer. Fun. Mm, yeah, but I want to play soccer. I could be the best but at math. If you're the best at it, you might want to play soccer. <laughs> play soccer. <laughs> Mine is the best. I'm just saying. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be the best at everything. You've already said best nine times since you I'm got the been best the best. I'm the best at foreign languages. Three wishes. Three wishes. Hold on. Yeah. One's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, oh, one's oh, I don't my know hair. Anything. I wish to have hair. That's all he cares about. Mm. He said it like it was so obvious. And you're just financially rich or you're financially good at a sport? Financially rich, good at a sport, and I don't care. No, you don't. Just gonna give the other wish away. And a hot wife. I wish rich, the genie free. Rich and better at golf. Okay. Not very good at golf. Better at golf. So if like good at golf. Okay. I'm not very good. So. You gotta be like Tiger Woods. Yeah. Eh, not anymore. <laughs> Tiger Woods yeah, before broken fibula. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would go. Let's see here. Three wishes. Number one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number one. Do you really need all the money? Like, do you really need a lot of money? I, don't I want if you have a lot of money, wishes, but I want to be just, like rich. Yeah. Plus, you could give it to charity if you don't. Yeah, I'm gonna it. say enough money. Yeah, I would want. I'd want to be rich because I can make great decisions. I'd love to build like a community center and like a bunch of different like a. Uh, yeah, it'd be fun. Okay, I'm gonna say if rich. If you ever I'll say get rich. rich, that's what people are gonna expect now. We have it on camera. Yeah. If I if I win the lottery, first thing I'm gonna do is build a community center. Community center, like like a school. Like everything, guys. Everything. Like a what? Like even a like cricket what? court. Cricket court. <laughs> yeah, for Jerry. <laughs> just, just in case Jerry's wishes come true, I'll build that. <laughs> cricket court. I wonder if they get paid a lot. Yes. 
Have it outside. They play it indoor when there's bad weather sometimes. Mm. Is it in like a door? No, not yet. Like um, okay, second wish. Um, I have uh, the ability to heal anybody's sickness or injury. So you with just want to be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus didn't have a lot of money, man. He was poor. Like that was part of his that was part of his game, I think, is not having any money. But you're right, you're right. Um, if if but, kid gets owie, he'd be like, heal. What yeah. Do, what do you do that and someone's like Broken do Bone? Do? Don't worry, I wish for it from a genie. Like I just tell him. You gotta be up front. I just believe like, though. Yeah. Number three. What seriously, someone's got cancer? Boom, gone. Like why would Yeah, what that? happens to all the people right. researching it? All the like jobs. The That's true. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, I'd rather everybody die, I guess, instead of healing them. Well, Whoa. there's already a cure. You imagine how you imagine how crazy that would be, though. How many people would be at my doorstep every day with me healing them? Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, that'd be pretty tough. I wish I had a machine to heal everybody, and I could just rent it out. <laughs> <laughs> Still making that money. <laughs> <laughs> you can just rent it. And my last wish would be um, to be able to see what was coming before it happened. Hold on, hey, class isn't over. You guys got another minute. Last, would you rather question? Austin. Would you rather die in a car accident like you were driving the vehicle, oh, or would you rather die by being hit by a car? Would you rather die in a car accident by driving? But you're still dead either way. Or so die in a car there. accident? I got it. I would rather be the one that wasn't driving, like, not my fault. I got it. You know yeah, I mean? I'd take that insurance money. I'd just be like a, I got dead. run over by Lexus. Yeah, but my family's still going to get exactly. What's up? compensation money. That's why I'm married. Just in case. Exactly. Okay, that's the end of the post game show, episode 24. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you guys. See you next week. Catch you later.